Well, those bastards did it. They took classic COD away from us. Goodbye trick shining. Goodbye free for alls. The good old search and destroy in the old games. Now, if you want to play the classic COD, you got to put all of your information right at risk, because they took plutonium down too. First it was SM2, then X Labs, now plutonium. It sucks. Now, what are we going to do? The problem is, Activision is just mad that these fans dedicated a non profit project to make it so that we can play these old games without having to put our information at risk. So now, Seeing as how their player count was low for MW2 currently, because the only thing keeping that game together right now is ranked. So everyone was going back to these old games, trick shotting. And now Black Ops 3 had a client too. They took that away, which is a week in itself. So now everybody's trying to gang up on Activision with like hashtag fuck Activision now. I think that was trending, trending on Twitter, too. It was, but. Oh, yeah, see? Call of Duty's trending on Twitter right now, too. Everybody received numerous cease and desists, and now it's all gone. It's a sad day. So now... Is everyone just going to try and make another client and try to hide it from them? But they'll find it out anyway. But people in the big suits, like this guy saying, care so much about money. But guess what? They took all that away from them. All these fans were doing what they were supposed to be doing for these games. People wanted to play Black Ops 3 for so long and they made it safe. And they took it away because the fans are doing what this company should have been doing a long time ago. Instead of pushing bundles and pushing gameplay features that didn't need to be changed. And they would make so much money if they were to support all these old games. But now you can't even go back and play Black Ops 4 back. So now you're forced to either play MW19 through MW2. Which, in all aspects, it's still a few games. But still, it's not fair to the rest of the people who have all these collectible games. And they want to play classic MW2, Ghosts. Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1 and 2. Like, come on, dude. It's a sad day, indeed. I think now, I, I think there's going to be a giant breakaway of fans from Call of Duty after this because they're just on a rampage. And all of a sudden, they just took everything away from all these classic COD players for, in like a day. Like from yesterday when SM2 was announced a cease and desist from when I woke up this morning at 8 a.m. and freaking X Labs was gone. And by the end of today, three hours ago, Plutonium's gone. Like all of it's gone. And they took down the BO3 client as well. Like it's a very sad day and it sucks. But like I think Activision needs to understand like people hate this current game they have. People had negative things toward Vanguard. Some people hate Cold War. Everybody hates these games right now because they're just too different. They want these old things back, but... And we want to enjoy them, but Activision keeps taking them away from us. So... I don't know. It's going to be a very sketchy year because who knows what's going to happen with MW3 or whatever the game's supposed to be this year. And Treyarch's probably going to be dropping a master because next year because of all the fuck ups that have been happening for the past two years since Vanguard but there's just no creative control when it comes to this game especially with the Call of Duty League when they're trying to make their own skins like the only thing they're allowed to change is like a couple things in the straps of the operators like they're trying to make their new things for MW3 and there's no creative control like give the fans the freedom give the Call of Duty League that's where you make most of your money in competitive leagues give them the freedom I don't know. This is... It's a very s stupid situation. It's childish on their part. 
and hopefully something will be done about it, but I think there's going to be a lot of backlash coming from the fans, more so than there already are, is currently. Like, nobody can play any other game before BO4 without putting their information at risk. Like, that's just, it's a sad thing. This game company makes billions of dollars every year, and it only takes a little bit to just keep the security up on those old games, but we had those clients, and now it's gone. It sucks. And these people have been putting in years of work for free. Like, Plutonium was for five years. x Labs was for three years. SM2 was in development for two years. BO3 was new. But still, it's all non-profit. People do, are doing this because they want to bring back their childhood with this. And Activision just said, nope. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Link me up on Twitter and all that, but... I hope you guys feel the same way about this as I do. It's a very stupid situation, and I hope to God they do something different and try and give security to these old games or let these nonprofit organizations leave them alone and just do that shit themselves. Yeah, right. This is Teases. I'm out.